That was Nightmare on Elm Street 3. The second one didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, they kind of just completely glaze over the second one. Yeah. Like, no mention of it. It's not like it couldn't have happened. Like... But, yeah, it could. It, it, it was like kind of like an offshoot. But yeah, well, it's not like in Highlander when all of a sudden in Highlander 2 they were aliens. <laughs> and then in Highlander 3 it's like, no, we're not aliens. That never happened. <laughs> it never happened. But this one, uh, the first half was good. Yeah. No, it was like actually really good for the first half. Yeah, and like, then it just tanked. The part with the, there was blood, there was like the marionette where he just cut out all his nerves and used them as marionette strings. That got me. I was... Like, yeah, no. disgusted. That I was, was, like, really into it. And then, like, somewhere around the oh, yeah, 45 minutes... He pops out of the TV. He's like, Hope time, it's time for prime time and kills her. No, I hope you like prime time. It, here's your big break into TV. <laughs> and then he smashed her into the TV. At that point, the movie was done. Ah, oh, jeez. Like, nothing else in this movie. Oh, yeah. And we finally learned the origin story of Freddy. He was born... Under a black moon on June 66th, um, as a, a werewolf howled. Uh, no, they gave him like the most. Tried they tried to give him the evilest backstory ever. Apparently, like some girl was. It was kind of dis kind of distasteful. It was raped hundreds of times by criminals and gave birth to Freddy. That was mm -hmm. kind of distasteful and not very mm -hmm. good. That, that I was like, ugh! I didn't. That wasn't good. So, uh, but yeah, uh, so some of the deaths were pretty good, uh, especially after the second one, the deaths weren't very invented, inventive. This one brought them back, which was good. Well. Uh, like the marionettes and the, the TV, it I was liked, clever. She, he got the pun in. I liked the marionette one. After that, it, they all kind of felt goofy. Yeah, that's the whole point. It's so he could make a pun. Like the, you know, he had the, 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 the guy who couldn't speak got tied up with tongues over a pit of hell or something, and he's like, are you tongue-tied, Jesse? Or whatever his name was. He looked like Jesse from the second film, so... Yeah. Yeah. It was, I never mentioned Jesse. He didn't... Which didn't... Okay, like, because... The, okay, the kids in this one are, like, the Elm Street kids that he's yeah. been going after the whole time. The Elm Street kids, actually, that's a... That was the sequel to, uh... I can't even remember the what... The baseball. The Misfits... The baseball, the, like, the, the, the Rascals. It's the sequel to The Rascals. It's the Elm Street Kids. <laughs> I was talking about with baseball. Is that, is that a real thing, or were you just really stretching to make a joke? Stretching! Uh, like Freddy Krueger's arms in the first movie. Yeah, or like uh, Freddy Krueger's uh, giant snake head. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that we forgot that one happened, right? Uh, let's see. Man, uh... Well, they, they defeated Freddy, so I guess that's the end of that series. Seriously. it's. Uh, but, but did you see the light turn on at the end? Yeah. It's like the He's... top continuing to spin. It's like, is he alive? Did did Was there an electrical malfunction? It could have been. You never know. See, that's the thing. Like, in, by the third movie, all of these franchises... I, I guess technically Halloween 3 didn't even mention Michael Myers, but... By the third installment of all of these franchises, they've killed off the main villain... To immediately bring him back. Well, yeah, because they're making money. New Line Cinema, the house that Freddy built, right? So, And then made Lord, Lord, Lord of the Rings? No. It made other things. It didn't make Lord of the Rings. They did make Lord of the Rings. They did? Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, uh, I like New Line Cinema. They've made a lot of good movies. Oh, yeah, they have. And uh, Although, can we talk about the New Line Cinema lo the logo? The logo? Oh, jeez. In, in all three of these, it's just this Giant. black screen, flashing red. Yeah. Got the New Line Cinema thing coming up. It was it was pretty bad. It literally looks like the friggin' pumpkin from uh, <laughs> Hallow Halloween three, <laughs> which you didn't see. I didn't. I it didn't. It was decent. Uh, what, oh, it was. Was the pumpkin decent? Well, it was like a digital pumpkin. Uh, oh no, digital pumpkin. Um, let's see. Uh, let, let's there talk was about some the, the CG in this. Uh, the the Her Ray Harryhausen skeleton of Jason. Of uh, Freddy. I can't, they all have dumb names. Michael, Freddy, Jason. I get them all confused. Ugh. G give them, like, real names. Like, or, like, distinct names. Like, Chucky. Ch no, that's just like Freddy. They all have, like, regular names. Like, uh, Leatherface? Leatherface. Leatherface is good. You can, re you can distinguish that. This is Freddy. 
Jason, Chucky. They're all just like little boy names. Oh, it's funny. It's juxtaposition. They have little boy names and they're psychopathic murderers. Get it? Cause, cause killers are humans, just like you and me. But the, <laughs> it's scary. But this isn't. But this isn't a human. That's a toy. You are a toy. And that's when the toy comes to life and kills you. <laughs> yeah, just like the puppet in the yes, beginning. Just like the puppet. But yeah, the 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 Jason skeleton that was interesting. Freddy. Ray Ray Harry Freddy uh, skeleton uh, was interesting. The Ray Harryhausen thing, where his skeleton came back to life in order to stop himself from being buried. So. Uh, uh, well, there was also like the Newton's cradle that just like became all these floating orbs. That was like clearly like late eighties CG. I don't think they had CG yet. I think that was just, like, stop animation. Or, like, they, like... I don't know. It looked fake as heck. Yeah, pretty bad. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I looked up... I was looking up some facts, and uh, apparently there was no CG back then. Okay. Yeah, we are... For all of you old people listening, we, we weren't alive in the 80s, believe it or not. So... When did this movie come out? 87? There was some, uh... What what New Order album came out that year? I can't remember. Was that when Joy Division album came out? No, that was 88. 88. No, that was 87, 89, yeah. So some good music came around this time. Another wasted opportunity. No Devo, no Joy Division. That would, the, moody, the moody music would have fit the, uh, the goofy horror atmosphere. This was perfectly. the one, I, I believe this was the one he rapped for. No way. <laughs> They, the the Ready for Freddy by the Fat Boys featuring Freddy Krueger. <laughs> is is fat spelled with a PH? No. It's not? Are they just fat? Yeah, they're just fat. Wait, why did why why were they tied in? I understand why they did it, because this was a popular franchise. Why did they go with the fat boys? They could have afforded so many better people. Without sticks. <laughs> yeah, I mean <sighs> You're ready for Freddy. One of them had Dokken. Dokken. Yeah. Like the... Dokken, the what? Dokken, like, the worst hair metal band? Oh, right. Yeah, that one. <laughs> the worst hair metal band. That... They also got Bruce Dickinson to write a song. I don't... For I, this for this for, series? Not for this. Well, for the series, yes. For Nightmare on Elm Street. Yes. Not, uh, not for the third one, I don't think. Mm. I think it was the fourth one. Excellent. Is the fourth one the... Is that the one where Freddy dies? Probably. No, I don't know which one. Which one does he die? Freddy vs. Jason? He probably di dies probably in all dies. of them. Oh, yeah. And then he just keeps coming back. Well, I, I, mean, I, I did appreciate the fact that there was just kind of a cliffhanger. He's like, is he dead? Is he not? Instead of, like, the first two where it's the stupid, like, oh, it's a beautiful day. <gasps> Zinks or joinks. Uh, I mean, zoinks. Uh, never mind. Gotcha. Surprise. He's not surprised. Oh, uh, by the way, Nancy was a... I thought she was a terrible actress in the first one, and that's because she was a child actress. In this one, she's still terrible. Really bad. She does this little sneer all the time. She's like, no, don't do it. Don't. Don't. No, Freddy. Ah. It's really bad. But it had Lawrence Fishburne. Oh, yeah. Back when he was still Larry Fishburne. He was Larry Fishburne. That is a little vintage classic there. And, uh, shoot, I forgot the actress's name. Uh, Zaza Gabor was in it. <laughs> in the scene. She was on screen, on a television for 30 seconds, so... Uh. I, actually, I, I read... I was reading on, like, the IMDb trivia that... Because uh, they got Dick Cavett mm -hmm. for the role. Right. And then they let him pick whoever he wanted to be his guest. And he picked... Didn't he pick Zaza Gabor because she was the stupidest person he knew? Yes. Which is, uh, which is always good. Thanks, IMDb. <laughs> Um, no, Shh. the main girl in the movie. Nancy. No. Um, Kristen? Kristen. Uh, no, not the one that's like, in my dreams, I'm beautiful. <laughs> Pulls out a knife, and bad. No, she never went anywhere. She had the mohawk. That was great. She was the best uh, character. The, the main girl, shoot. I can't remember the actress's name, but she went on to be very popular. Really? She was in True Romance mm. and Boyhood. Okay. I think True Romance was a New Line Cinema picture. Was Boyhood too? Maybe, I don't know. Uh, maybe she got uh, signed for life or something. But yeah. Any last thoughts on Freddy 3? I mean, Jason 3? <laughs>
what was the subtitle for this one? Dream Warriors? Dream Warriors. Dream Warriors. Hold on, I can't. Okay, I'm excited. Also. Warriors. <laughs> come out to play. A Nightmare on Elm Street 3. It wasn't 2.